Hey, hey, welcome back to our Hungry Adventures. Hungry Adventures in Thailand. And in today's video, guys, I'm inviting you to spend another day on a motorcycle riding on the beautiful roads around Panna province. Exploring its amazing nature, tasting delicious local food, visiting stunning beaches by the ocean. And those beaches are really stunning, man. And hopefully this video can help you feel a little bit better, can help you to relieve the stress while you are working from home, while you are stuck in home, while you cannot travel, yeah. So if you got some time and empty space in your stomach and you are ready to waste your precious time together with me while I'm riding around, then join me in this hungry adventure. Let's go! Tok nam tok. Badi krab, badi krab. Oh, you mad, you mad, 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 mad. What would you like? Oh, you can speak English. A little bit not too much. What is the most delicious? Mm. Aloe tea soup. Aloe tea soup. Oh. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> we have the noodle soup and papaya salad or uh, a la carte. I, I have something like uh, local food. Local food. Something, something that cannot find in yeah. other. Easy and really delicious. It's okay. I can eat everything. Mayao pala, mayao pala, mayao pu. Mayao pu, mayao pala. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, dibuat nak. Mm. Fine lines. Fine lines. Ani yenta for, cema kap. Yes. Mm. Yenta for kim. Many time want something special. Aw pisset. Aw. Uh, um, now move up, right? Oh, what? Oh. today not available. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, I want to order two dishes. Yeah. Uh huh. Song Song Yang. Yeah. Uh huh. Soup one and one stir fry is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, up to you. Okay. You choose. Okay, I decide for you. Okay. Okay. Kim Pet died away. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, guys, if you love sound of running water, if you love sound of raining, sound of waterfall, then this is place for you because these guys, they put a water sprinkler on the roof, yeah, with the garden. That's why we are having this paradise around us. You probably can hear the sound of running water. Can you? Yeah. And I asked to prepare two meals for them because they said uh, that everything is delicious here and uh, here's what I've got. The first meal, kapao kai, kai dao, yeah. The classic rice with chicken with uh, basil, yeah, and egg. And this one, this is the soup. Basically, it's almost same as soup with noodles, but without noodles. Yeah, so it's just broth. And in the, this broth, we can see, we can discover shrimps, squid, pork, and maybe something else. Minced pork meat, bean sprouts, kale. And it's really spicy, we're in Southern Thailand. So, yeah, even water spice is spicy here. Buonissimo! Bellissimo! Mm. Beautiful. Nothing else needed. Ideal combination that you usually expect to get when you order Thai food. Mmm. Mmm. You see, this soup has no noodles. So it's low on carbs but high on protein, which is good if you want to maintain your diet, if you want to maintain 
your healthy body shape because me uh, I gotta spend some time taking care of my my body because the channel is growing and my gra my body is growing together with it สวัสดีครับคุณมีของวางมั้ยครับมีค่ะอ่าโกดูได้มั้ยครับได้ค่ะนึ่งขึ้นเท่าไหร่ครับนึ่งขึ้นตอนนี้ขึ้นละห้า
Okay guys, you gotta be honest. Tell me, what do you think about this place? Because I think it's pretty awesome. And you might notice a few moments instantly. All furniture in this room, in this house, is made of wood and is heavy as hell, but together with reddish brownish color of the walls, it gives this vintage feeling, yeah, vintage appearance, which you rarely can find traveling around Thailand. The second thing, numerous dolls everywhere. You see, I've got a doll on air conditioning, I've got a doll on this electric switch box, where else? I've got a doll on the safe box and here is huge cabinet full of dolls. You see so many of them. So many eyes staring at you. <laughs> at first I felt a bit weird because I've watched too many horror movies, but then after a couple hours you're getting used to it so you don't pay attention much, yeah. Because this is a hobby of the owner, yeah. And the third thing, I forgot which one. Ah yeah, a ladder leading to the second floor. I was so surprised to see it, yeah. And of course I went upstairs to check what's there, and it wasn't really easy to climb. I I assume this area is supposed to be a children's bedroom or some kind of playground or a storage but the first thing it's not easy to climb up and the second thing it's so hot up there because it's physics hot air is going up and cold air is going down so if you if you will decide to sleep upstairs then you gotta be prepared for the hot air okay i almost there almost there come on fat ass and now we're on the second floor, but I can stand here, yeah? That's why I think that this area is for kids, but it's so hot here, it's really hard to breathe. That's why they put fan here and nothing else. And that's the view from the second floor. So if you'll be sleeping here and decide to visit the toilet at night, I really wish you luck. I hope you are in a good shape. Oh, very hot here. And the bed is soft. <laughs> and they even have got these classic Thai sausage pillows, which are really good to sleep with, especially if you want to hug someone or something, but you are traveling alone. And a toilet, of course, toilet and shower. Another wooden door. And here is my toilet, clean and spacious. Here is handmade sink, which looks pretty awesome. White brother working hard every day. And clean shower. Nothing else needed, everything like in the best hotels of Paris. This house, the rate for this house per night is only 500 baht at the present moment. And I paid for a whole week. And two ladies owning this place, they even gave me a discount. So I've paid only 3000 baht for a week. For seven days, 3000 baht for this house, yeah. And this place, uh, this homestay, it consists only five houses. They are surrounded by mangosteen trees, surrounded by mangosteen farm, yeah. So I can leave this house at night and eat mangosteen fruits out of the trees when nobody see me, yeah, at night. I'm kidding, yeah. One of the, those ladies gave me a basket full of mangosteen trees. It was full at the beginning, but you know me very well. I just need two or three minutes to make a half of it disappear, yeah. You're dealing with hungry Russian eating machine, so there are no jokes, no surprises, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm really satisfied with this place, with strong internet, with house with no insects, yeah. So I'll be staying here for a while. Oh, like I said, for a week. Welcome to the waterfall called Kanim, which looks quite pretty from a distance, I gotta be honest, yeah. But then you start noticing garbage and trash around, broken benches, some of those benches are laying in the stream, yeah. 
numerous water pipes leading to the waterfall for some reason yeah some broken buildings i went to the toilet and it's completely destroyed really unusable but i believe this place could have been such great tourist attraction it really has its potential just look around could have been a real forest paradise it just needs some huge cleaning yeah some reconstruction and a marketing campaign and could have been another great spot for tourists to enjoy Panna province of course when the tourism will come back let's get closer to the pool if there is a pool Ah, so fresh, so clean, I mean the water. Man, just take a look at this massive cliff, yeah, an amount of water running down. Looks really amazing, but those pipes... I understand it's not a national park, so local people build this pipe system to collect free water. And yeah, it sounds really fantastic, taking shower every morning, with free, fresh and clear water straight from the waterfall. Sounds pretty amazing. And you don't even need a pump to collect this water. You see, you just need to stick the pipe right in the waterfall and gravity will help you. Uh, however, as a tourist destination, this place doesn't look that attractive, unfortunately. ครับร้านอาหารเปิดมั้ยครับเปิดครับอ๋อที่อ่ะที่นี่อร่อยอร่อยที่สุดมีผักไทยครับมีผักไทยกุ้งสดผักไทยกุ้งสดอันนี้เ
hey, hey, hey. the food is ready and I gotta tell you it looks pretty amazing check it out this is my pad thai pad thai with lobster what do you think about it? I think it's worth trying and worth coming here pretty big lobster, not original not a regular shrimp or prawn yeah this is a lobster indeed and lime of course, lime oh man, looks really appetizing and here is the second, second dish I forgot the name of it, but this it's a salad with tiny, tiny fish and, and coconut let's try to find the coconut, where is the coconut here? can you see it? if you know the name of the dish, if you know the ingredients, write me in the comments That was really fast. Mm. Let me try the salad to make sure is it made of coconut or not. Yeah. I can feel the coconut. Mmm. It's just like a bounty, you know, chocolate bars. Okay, this is pad thai, pad thai with shrimps. Yeah, with shrimps and tofu. And this thing. Yeah, this thing is our lobster. Which is not that easy to open, I gotta be honest. Wow, that's a lot of meat. That's really a lot of meat. Okay. Ooh. I want it, I want it to be really, really spicy. Bye bye. I wanted to make it spicy and it is spicy you see I'm so sad because it's so delicious guys you gotta be here with me I share it with you oh. <laughs> all right the next part come on come on man such a huge piece uh, of this lobster it's really gorgeous meal guys mm. Welcome to Wat Tasai, another amazing temple by the beach, made of wood, as you see.
very stunning temple, isn't it? And besides its beauty, I think it also has got all magic, all energy. Because as soon as you enter, you feel yourself so quiet, so comfortable, so relaxed. Yeah. Truly original temple built in ancient Thai style. Wooden temple built on the beach by the ocean. Yeah, this is the ocean coast, which is which looks pretty aggressive today. I gotta say, you probably can hear this wind. Yeah, this is not same water you have witnessed in Pattaya, in Koh Samui, in Hua Hi, in Koh Chang, because it was Siam Bay where you can see quite shallow water by the beach. Here you just need to walk a few steps and then you will fall in endless abyss. Literally bottomless. Because this is Andaman Sea, which belongs to Indian Ocean. <laughs> yeah, this is the beach, ocean beach. So many rocks to protect this, this sand. Yeah, true fight with powerless water of the ocean. Yeah, I wouldn't dare to swim here for sure and I definitely not and I'm definitely not going to fly my drone here because if I'll <laughs> launch it now if my drone will be in the air it will be the last time I'm seeing it I I'm pretty sure yeah <laughs> the waves are quite high today and guys, I'm not sure, am I able to find something else today or not? For this reason, if you have enjoyed this video, if you have enjoyed this tour, then hit the like button. Hit that goddamn like button, just smash it, yeah. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Are you subscribed or not? Oh, I need to blow up my motorcycle to get your attention, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed, I really hope. And I'll see you in the next video very soon somewhere else somewhere else by the ocean bye bye okay how can i get my ass out of here without broken bones <laughs>